Steamboat geyser erupts, covering cars in million-year-old mud. Last week, visitors to Yellowstone were thrilled to witness the rare eruption of Steamboat, the world's tallest geyser. But many were not thrilled to see the million-year-old mud that covered their cars. Witnessing the eruption of Steamboat Geyser in Yellowstone National Park is a once-in-a-lifetime event, but it can also be a nightmare for anyone who parks near the world's tallest active geyser. Cindy Lawson Didmer found that out while visiting Yellowstone last week. After Steamboat Geyser erupted at 3.02 p.m. Monday, she returned to her car in the Norris Geyser Basin parking lot to find it soaked in geyser water that left a residue that required more than a wet towel to clean up. We drove to West Yellowstone and tried to wash it with Dawn Dish Soap, she wrote in the Yellowstone National Park Facebook group. Cleaned it up nicely but there's still a film on it. We will take it to a detailer, but we were glad to see the eruption. A similar experience was shared on TripAdvisor in 2022. An online contributor was visiting Norris Basin shortly after the steamboat eruption while a cloud of steam continued to pour out of the geyser vent. Our car and all the cars in the parking lot were soaked with geyser water, they wrote in their review. Car got geyser water, not a good thing. Gayer water left a film on rental car that couldn't be cleaned off. Vinegar made the windows a little better and drivable, but it took over two hours to clean at an auto repair shop in Bozeman. It's not uncommon for anyone who's been around a steamboat geyser eruption to find residue covering everything in a wide area around it. It's just another natural hazard in Yellowstone National Park. What comes out of steamboat is no different than what comes out of any other geyser said Mike Poland, the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. It's boiling water that has a lot of dissolved silica in it. When that water hits the surface and evaporates, it leaves the silica behind. Dissolved silica is everywhere in Yellowstone, and it can be very damaging when it coats the surfaces of man-made objects. Poland says park employees are very familiar with the struggle with silica. I've heard stories from park employees about how hard it is to keep the windows at the old faithful visitor center clean, and that's just because of the light jets flying around, not the eruptions from any particular geyser, he says. Steamboat geyser can shoot water up to 400 feet into the air when it erupts, making it the world's tallest active geyser and potentially dangerous to anyone nearby. Because Steamboat's plume is so tall, it can travel quite far, Poland says. The silica-rich water has killed most of the trees between the geyser and the parking lot in recent years, and the parking lot is about 800 feet from the geyser. That gives you an idea of the area affected. The National Park Service has posted signs around the Norris parking lot warning drivers that their vehicles could be covered in dissolved silica after a steamboat eruption. Poland knows many Yellowstone visitors take precautions whenever they visit. Some experienced geyser watchers will put a cover on their cars when they park there and when Steamboat is about to erupt, he said. This eruption is part of a real downturn for Steamboat, he said. This is only the fourth eruption in 2024. The years 2018 to 2021 all had more than 20 eruptions per year but the number has decreased in the years since. 11 in 2022 and 9 in 2023. Before 2018, Steamboat's average period between eruptions was two years. Then, the geyser erupted 32 times in 2018 and another 48 times in 2019 and 2020. Poland said Steamboat has been experiencing frequent periods of eruption, as it has between 2018 and now. 
Despite intensive research and observation of Yellowstone National Park and its geysers, the reasons behind these periods of high activity remain a mystery.